Hello everyone, it's Raven with Creativity Uninhibited. And today I am going to show you guys this really, really cute box I made for my nephew's movie theater, a star is born birthday party. It's actually a shadow box. So I have the number six in there, the little Showtime clapboard, the popcorn, the VIP all around the box, a little razzle dazzle with this gold chain. And then I closed the box at the top with a bow that I hole punched the top. Now, let me tell you guys, this was supposed to be a milk carton box. But I actually put the box together upside down from the template because it didn't come with instructions. I was a little confused about what to do. So I improvised and added a bow with, hole, with a hole punch at the at the top in order to close it but today i'm going to show you all how i put this together and how i'm putting it together correctly so uh stay tuned so here are the pieces that i actually got from um an svg file that i for a milk carton box that i actually bought off of etsy um, i'm going to put a link to the the file not to the file but to the lady shop so you all could purchase it um a couple tips of something i did differently I actually made this part I, I she didn't add that she just had the milk carton template and the milk carton template actually came in two in one piece but i did not feel like cutting a big piece of paper so i want to you use an 8 by 11 so i kind of modified the file to cut it in half so i can just attach the two pieces so i actually added i cut it in half and made two of this part she also did not have this window so i used my silhouette um program and created a little cut in the middle because this will be the front let me move this so you can see better this will be the front of the milk carton so I cut that part out um, so I can add my little acetate or whatever and as well I created a box that will fit for that window section so I can put my um, pieces in there i already scored it oh another thing about the scoring so the file she sends you for um you know the cut file the scores have slits in them so the machine can actually cut it i don't like when my machine cut it because when you go to fold it it tears apart it's not durable i actually used the scoreboard and scored the lines in myself so that way your project is a lot more durable. So use the template that she sends as a guide to how to score it and, you know, just score your flaps or whatever. But let's get into putting first this box together. So this is the box all put together. Don't worry about the white stuff. Of course, it's going to dry clear, so that won't be an issue. I'm going to sit this to the side because I want to show you guys the cutout um, that's going on the inside of the box. So these are the cutouts that I made to go on the inside of the box. And I'm going to cut all of this out individually. I plan to make this stuff available on my Etsy shop. So like the box template, um, let you know the measurements, these things. So if you do purchase the milk carton SVG and you want to recreate this exactly, you'll have 
you know, the template for that. So I've actually pre-cut everything. Here are the cutouts. I cut pre-cut out everything just for the, the sake and time of the video. And I actually had to hand cut. So this was, this box was hand cut. The only thing I put through my silhouette was the actual milk carton template, but everything else, all of this and what's going in there, I had to hand cut. The registration marks were acting up. I don't know what that's about. Um, there was a tip I was given once that if you color it in with, what's that, permanent marker, that it'll work. I don't have permanent marker. I tried to use a dry erase, a black dry erase marker, and it definitely did not work, so. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna try with my permanent marker and let's see if that does the trick. So for right now, let's go and put this box together.
Okay guys, we are done putting our shadow box together. So the next thing we're gonna do now is actually put our milk carton together. And like I said, I messed up the other ones. It, it was upside down. So this is actually my first time doing a milk carton treat box. So bear with me.
So now our box is put all together. I put the acetate on the inside this time. I like that a lot better. It was a lot easier than trying to line it up on the outside and then put the border and whatnot. As you can see, this box doesn't have a bottom um, like the other one. Let me, let me show you what I mean. I had space to add this VIP around the bottom because I put the box up um, together upside down. So I had to fill in, you know, this space. But with these boxes, I don't have that. Another note is that I'll probably add, not probably, I will add a base. I'm gonna cut another piece to cover this in glue just to add more stability to the bottom of the box and to cover the ugliness of the uh, glue and the crisscross lines. I don't really like that. So now we have the top of the box and making it a milk carton. This is what I have no instructions for. So I'm basically about to wing it. Use a little common sense, I guess, to figure it out. Oh, wait, I need to glue this together. But yeah, I'm gonna glue that down and then try to figure out how to close this box the right way. And then come back with what's next. Hey guys, that was pretty simple. It was just pushing in the side two pieces, bending the front and the back a little bit and closing them together. So it's probably gonna be hard. Let's see, you gotta kinda bend or bend this in the opposite way, bend it out. And then do the same for the front piece, kind of bend it out. And so I'm going to do the same thing I did with the other box. I'm gonna punch two holes in it, in the front and in the back, and then I'll use a ribbon to tie it together. But now let's put our front on our um i made a little piece a little border to go on the front and i'm actually hand cutting it as i said the silhouette is not working with me today so i actually hand cut it but i want to show you all what i do to hand cut it so i actually from the printout i just cut it around the edges i'm not the best cutter so this is going to probably look kind of crazy on the front. It's not gonna be as neat as I, li I like it, but it'll do the job. So I normally just cut a slit in the middle and then cut a big circle out. And then I go in to around the edging in more detail.
so off camera, I had my brother hole punch two holes through the back and two holes in the front and I ran the ribbon front to back all the way around and tied a pretty little bow.